how you can prepare for these exams when you have such a limited amount of time. Because if you are watching this the day it's been released, you have about a month until your exam. So let's have a look at how you can try and improve your grades as much as possible within a month. Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. This video has been requested a lot recently by people on my YouTube channel. It's how to prepare for the mocks you might have coming up in September or for those of you who are taking the autumn resits. Now I do actually have lots of videos that will help you with this in my playlist exams technique which you can just see up here. The key difference with this one though that I'll be going through with you is how you can prepare for these exams when you have such a limited amount of time because if you are watching this the day it's been released you have about a month until your exam so let's have a look at how you can try and improve your grades as much as possible within a month if you do want to skip ahead to any point then just have a look at the time codes along the bottom the first thing is you need to review any tests, any mocks you have done already on the course. And when you're reviewing them, the best way to do it is following something called marks analysis. And I have a whole video going through marks analysis, which I'll link up here that you can watch. Essentially, the mark stands for math skills, application, reading the question, knowledge, um, how far are we through now? M-A-R-C. I missed out the C. Um, clarity of answer and S is statements per question. What you do is you go through your entire paper and everywhere you've lost a mark, you see which skill was the reason behind it. And you tally that up for the whole paper. Then you can get an overall view. Is there a particular skill you're losing the most marks on? You could do this for the knowledge questions as well to see is there a particular area of the theory you're losing lots of marks on. This is so important if you are preparing for the autumn exams because you only have a month to go. So you have to prioritise your time. Work out what your weaknesses are if you don't know already. And that is what to focus your revision on. The second thing I would recommend is my new Pick and Mix series. And if you are watching this when it has just been released, I have just put the booking live for my new series of Pick and Mix tuition. So what Pick and Mix tuition is, is an online tuition um, lesson, but instead of it being one-to-one, -one, it's up to 15 students. But for that reason, I dropped the price right down to £7.50. So you can have an hour tuition lesson with me for £7.50. That includes the lesson resources. So anything I use in the lesson, I give you a copy of. For the exam technique series, that will include past paper questions. I also give you access to the lesson recording. So if you do need to look back on anything we've gone through later on in the course, then you have that for you. Now this series, I'm going to be going through how you can improve your application, your practical skills, data analysis, long answer questions, essay writing, and the final lesson will be a complete exam walkthrough. So if you are looking for even more help than I can give you in just this video alone, go to missestrick.co.uk, check out the Pick and Mix tutoring and sign up there. There are only 15 spaces and some of those spaces are already gone, so you will have to move fast on that one. If you have seen my other videos on advice, then you would have heard this tip before, but it is more important than ever if you are trying to improve in a short space of time. And that is, you have to be really efficient with your time, follow a timetable, and if you are aiming for the top grade, so A's or A stars, you should be doing 30 hours of work a week. Now, if you are doing the autumn exams, then you aren't at school anymore. So you should have nothing to do except for prepare for these exams. So really, you should be doing more than 30 hours a week if that is your sole focus at the moment. Treat it like it's a full time job and full time jobs are typically 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with an hour lunch break. So that is about the amount of time you should be spending per day if you are just revising for the autumn exams. If you want to get that A or A star. If you are still studying at school or college sixth form, then those 30 hours are on top of your lessons. 
but it is 30 hours for all of your subjects collectively. Now that works out as about three hours per day plus some time at the weekend. Now that does sound like a lot, but if you use your study periods, then you've pretty much done three hours already. Or you might have done two hours and then just an hour or so in the evening. It is a lot, but if you want to improve quickly and you want to get those top grades, you do have to put that hard work in to see the results. I do have a post on this on Instagram that gives you an actual timetable that you can follow. And I have a video on YouTube, which I'll link up here, so you can check that out if you need more help with planning your time. My next tip is at this stage, if you are preparing for mocks, or the autumn exams, your knowledge should be pretty good already. If it's not, don't panic. I do have videos on how you can improve your knowledge. Check out my revision video here. But it should be pretty good, if not at the best it's been, when you are at the final stages of preparation, like you are now, if you've got a month to go. So you should be focusing on your exam technique at this stage. Now that is things like, do you know all of the command words? Do you know what you have to write for each command word? So describe, explain, evaluate. Have you been practicing your math skills, your knowledge of the practical skills, the critical analysis, long answer questions, the essay, the list goes on. Now to improve your exam technique, there are a range of things you can do in this short space of time. Number one, I've got all of the exam techniques for AQA explained and modelled in this playlist, so check that out for sure. Next, as I've already said at the start, my pick and mix lessons cover some of those key exam techniques and I'm doing all of the lessons before the autumn exams, so I do highly recommend attending those. You should also make sure you have attempted all of the past papers, and by that I mean the AS papers and the A-level papers. The AS papers are easier than the A-level papers, but it's still really good practice of the types of questions you could get and becoming familiar with what comes up on the mark scheme. Now, when you complete these exam papers, some of them you can do with notes and not in time conditions. So you are getting used to the types of questions and improving your technique. But part of exam technique is timing. And the only way you can improve your timing is if you complete these papers in timed conditions and with no notes. The papers for A-level are two hours long and two hours just sat down writing is actually quite a big demand. So part of the practice is getting used to that. So definitely have a go at all of the papers. Another tip, which I really hope you're doing this already, but if you're not, it will really help you to improve and that is use your specification. The specification you can use as a checklist to tick off, have you covered all of the theory? But the specification also tells you the kind of application questions you could get for each topic. And it tells you all the math skills you could be assessed on and all the practical skills you could be assessed on. So really make use of reading through that to see what you need to know and how they could assess you on it. I have got a detailed video on how to use your specification, which is this one just here. So if you aren't sure, it's a really, really worthwhile one to watch. The final tip is do not ignore the essay if you're doing AQA. The essay is worth 25 marks, which is a huge chunk of the third paper. And a lot of students are finding the idea of an essay quite daunting, especially if you haven't had much practice because of the pandemic. However, it's a great way to demonstrate your knowledge without having any of the difficult critical analysis and practical data analysis questions. So if your knowledge is really good, do not fear the essay. It's your opportunity to show off just how much you know and how you can apply and link the different biological topics. It is obviously a hard skill, it's an A-level skill, but to improve, you can do lots and lots of plans. Um, so I wouldn't say write every single essay title because you've not got long to go. That is not the most effective use of your time. I would suggest doing plans though for as many essay titles as possible. And in this video here, I go through how to do the plan 
and how to write the essay to try and get those top marks. So check that one out if you are worried about the essay. I promise you, you will feel a bit more confident, if not way more confident, after watching that video. So those are my top tips on how to prepare for any mocks you have coming up or the autumn exams. Really focusing on what to do if you have limited time and you really need to improve your grades. If you have any questions about any of those tips or anything else, just drop them in the comments below and I will get back to you. If you have found this helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. And if there's anything else that you think you'd find useful, again, put it in the comments and I will try and see if I can make those videos for you. So best of luck, try those tips, have a look at my other videos, check out the help I've got on my Instagram channel or ask for more help below. Join the pick and mix if you think that's gonna be useful too. So lastly, I just want to wish you all of the best and really, really good luck with this final month of revision and for those exams. It has been such a difficult year or two for all of you. So I really do hope that this helps you the best it can.